that you probably won't hear this in many other places. Well, during, during the testimony, Lindsey Graham, who I like to refer to sometimes as Lindsey, Lindsey graham -nisty, <laughs> was asking a question of the Facebook general counsel, Colin Stretch, and whether or not he, had, he was aware of Russian attempts to uh, intervene in American affairs. I guess I'll say it that way. Well, Colin Stretch says, well, yeah, this actually goes back way beyond the presidential election. In the aggregate, Colin Stretch says, uh, Russian actors seek to just make a mess of American, of America, period. It's not limited to any particular personality. It's not limited to any particular election cycle. This is what they do. Well, it turns out that there is, uh, that, that content was generated by a Russian troll farm known as the Internet Research Agency. But it turns out that Colin Stretch from Facebook reveals that this Russian Internet Research Agency was busy doing something after the election. If you would, Mr. Trough, please play clip number one. In the wake of the election and now President Trump's election, we saw a lot of activity directed at fomenting discord about the validity of his election. So this continued after his election? It continued until we disabled the accounts. What, what, wait, what, what, what you said, Apple? What? What, what? what was that? Now let me say this. We're going to take calls this segment, so if you want to uh, be a part of the program to discuss anything we've had, we've discussed in the program up until this point, including this story that is a bombshell, in my opinion, the phone number to call is 888 Five eight nine eight eight four zero. That number again to call is eight 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 five eight nine eight eight four zero. Now I want to play this one more time because I want to make sure you hear this clearly. When Colin Stretch, the general counsel for Facebook, is asked, "Is are the Russians doing something through Facebook to try to, you know, uh, undermine anything in America?" And look what Colin Stretch said. Play clip one again, please. In the wake of the election and now President Trump's election, we saw a lot of activity directed at fomenting discord about the validity of his election. What? So this continued after his election? It continued until we disabled the accounts. So you have the general counsel of Facebook, and this is why I'm telling you you're not going to hear this anywhere else. You have the general counsel of Facebook saying, well, since we're on the topic, whether or not Russian tri Russians attempted to use Facebook as a means to undermine anything in America concerning the election, you have Colin Stretch saying, well, yes, this Russian Internet Research Agency, they, they increased a bevy of activity after the November 8th election. Why did they do that, Mr. Stretch? Because they wanted to foment discord in America about the validity of President Trump's election. So you have Facebook's general counsel testifying under oath on Capitol Hill before the Senate Judiciary Committee saying that, oh, Russians were involved, but not to help Trump. They were involved to undermine Trump. They got involved to try to foment, <laughs> to foment discord in America about the validity of President Trump's election. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? This is ridiculous got me talking to my voice like I didn't go through puberty yet. This is insane. This completely turns the narrative on its head. The Facebook general counsel was saying, oh, there was action, but it happened after the election. What Russians, exactly, Russians get involved to undermine President Trump after the election, after the election. This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. Now, to be fair, Politico reported on this story, but have you seen, now this happened yesterday. Have you seen anybody on television interviewing about the testimony from the, the, the Facebook general counsel and the attorneys from the social media companies saying that, well, first of all, the activity had really, it didn't focus exclusively on this election cycle. But since you want to talk about this election cycle, we had an uptick of activity after the, the November 8th election that shows this Russian Internet Research Agency attempted to foment discord in America. There have been testimony that the ads ran by the Russians on Facebook and social media has reached up to 126 million Americans. 
But how many of these people would tell you, yeah, 126 million Americans saw ads of Russians trying to foment discord about the validity of President Trump's election? Hillary Clinton is saying, oh, let's storm the Electoral College. The Russian says, yeah, let's storm the Electoral co College. They weren't trying to help President Trump. Perhaps this fact is part of the reason why, part of the reason why, uh, Bob Mueller's special counsel investigation yields an indictment that didn't have anything to do with the election. What I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are being sold a bill of goods by the talking snake media. They're trying to sell this Trump-Russia collusion. Initially, initially, it was in an effort to uh, explain away Hillary Clinton's loss. But now, it turned rather quickly away from Hillary Clinton's loss to be an effort to serve as an, a, a Democrat talking point to try to take over the 2018 midterm elections and to win the presidency in 2020. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Does Bob Mueller, did Bob Mueller summon Colin Stretch to testify in his investigation? Does Bob Mueller know about this information? This is crazy. Yet, I'm going to go out on a huge limb here. You probably won't hear this on the talk, the, 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 the evening news on the Alphabet Stoop of Network. You probably won't hear MSNBC explaining in great detail about Colin Stretch's revelation that Russian attempts to undermine the election, there were attempts to undermine President Trump's legitimacy as the president. As promised, we'll go to the phone line. Pardon me, but I think that's you. 